Hi guys, Steve here, and on this video I'm going to show you how to hatch wyvern eggs, then raise the wyverns up from cute little babies to fully grown adults. If you've not seen my previous video on all the best ways to get wyvern eggs, you can see it here. When you've got your eggs and you've decided to raise your wyvern, there's a few things you need to begin with. First is a strong base with turrets. It doesn't have to be as big as this, but you need to be able to keep them safe until they grow up. Some people on the server might not want you to have a wyvern, and they might attack you before it's finished. Inside your base you need an incubation room to hatch your eggs. Use air conditioners to regulate the egg's temperature. These will stop the eggs from losing health. A good design is to have two rows of air cons like this next to each other. You place the eggs in the middle and there's lots of room to hatch many at the same time. The only food you can feed a grown wyvern is wyvern milk. And this comes from milk in female wyverns. If you tried milking the male ones, theirs is a bit more salty. No, don't bother, you don't get anything really. To help make it easier to get milk, it's best to build yourself a wyvern trap. This is a stronger version that we built. The main body of it is built from stone behemoth gates, then the side pillars are to funnel the wyverns into the trap. You place the gates in a row behind each other, but make sure the gaps between each are small enough to not let the wyverns out. At the back you place pillars wide enough to let your argent through, but narrow enough to stop the wyverns following you. You fly a bird in here, then out the back, the wyvern follows you into his cage, and when it does, you close the door behind it, trapping it. At the back of the cage, we built a small desert base. There's some beds inside so we can spawn there in case we die, a wind turbine to give us power, and that's mainly to power the keypad. With it, you can close the doors behind the wyvern and capture it solo, and that lets you get the milk for the wyverns by yourself. We built a strong trap out of Behemoth Gate so it could take a lot of damage. The normal wyverns can't harm it, but there's sandworms around here that do. Also, you can trap alpha wyverns in there to kill them, but don't leave them too long as they'll destroy the trap. There are different designs of trap, and you don't have to spend as much resources in building it as we did. I'd say this is an okay medium strength one. And this design uses very little resources. When you've got wyvern eggs, store them in a refrigerator to stop them hatching. This also stops their health going down. You can keep them in here as long as you want, and take them out when you're ready to hatch and look after them. Take them to your incubation room, and drop the eggs in the centre of the air conditioners. The red bar at the bottom is the egg's health, and the yellow bar is how long the egg has left to hatch. It'll take many hours before the egg's ready, so go out and do something else. I'm going to hatch a couple of eggs at the same time, so I'll just put another one down. The yellow bar on this one's gone down a lot, because I incubated it before, then put it back in the fridge until I was ready. That way you can time when you want to hatch the eggs. OK, I'll go off and do something and come back later. Somebody's hatched another one while I was away. And there's my cute little baby. This one's mine, so I'm going to claim it, and it's going to be imprinted on me. This was my first wyvern, so I was quite excited. I can always rename it later. Its health was okay, but its damage was a bit meh. On very rare occasions, you can get three identical wyverns from one egg. We all have the same colours and all the same stats. We were a bit surprised when this happened. Babies start off with food so you don't have to feed them for a few hours. Speaking of which, let me show you the different ways on how to get milk. You'll need to use the same fast argent as you did to get the egg. You're looking for low level female wyverns. The lower the level, the less knock arrows it takes to trank them. Do not go after a lightning one, because its electrical beam will keep hitting a bird and probably kill it, if you get hit enough times. The easiest wyverns to kite to the trap are the poison ones, as their poison spit travels slowly and you can outrun it. The next hardest is the fire ones. If you keep your distance you're okay and they can't damage you, but if you get too close they'll flame you and do huge damage to your RG. When you've got aggro from a low level female wyvern, lead it back to your trap. Align yourself up with a gateway as you want it to follow you in. Fly through the back where it can't get past. 
then get to your keypad quickly and activate the code to shut the door. You need to do this as fast as possible because if the wire is stuck for a long time it will lose aggro and fly out of the cage. And watch out for little beasties trying to kill you. Now we've got the wyvern trapped, I'm just going to kill this and get to the next part. Okay, with the wyvern trapped, get off your bird and start shooting it with knocker arrows. You can use a long neck and trank darts if you want, but it's a complete waste of resources. Sometimes it stays still, other times it moves about. You'll get a red marker when you hit it. I'm going to skip forward a bit because this is going to take some time. Ok the wyvern's knocked out so let's get the milk. Go to the wyvern and access its inventory. Ah oh, that's the arduous one, I was too close to it. When you open it you'll find 5 milk, so collect it. Remember to have preserving salts in your inventories to make it last twice as long. Then move it to your bird so it lasts even longer, that also has preserving salt in it. Then if you have a time, kill the wyvern because it gives you great XP. The torpor goes down really fast on a wyvern, so you need to kill it quickly before it wakes up. Then once that's done, take the milk back to your base. To make the milk last longer you need to store it in a preserving bin, as you can't use refrigerators. With preserving salt in it, the milk will last over two and a half hours. Give it the wyverns when they're hungry, or just before the milk's about to spoil. When it's time to feed the babies it's pretty simple, just get the milk from a preserving bin, then place it in the wyverns inventory. This one's fed at the moment so it's not going to drink it. I'd keep the milk in the bins until the baby's hungry, which is about 500 food, or until the milk's about to spoil. If you go into bed and you want to top its food up to its maximum, you can always force feed it. To be honest, I always keep it topped up and give it milk about every 3 hours. Are we going to die? I, I might be. <laughs> but you won't. You are able to get milk from a wyvern without building a cage, but it's more tricky. It involves holding somebody below an argent with a crossbow, and as a wyvern chases you, you shoot it in the head until it passes out. We've never actually needed to do it before, so this is what happened when we tried it for the first time. So what we're going to do is, we're going to use a flame one probably, best, or a poison. I can't see anything because you're hovering. Wait, I'm trying to find it. Ah! Kane, we didn't want to lightning. Go faster for fuck's sake! You recording? <laughs> <laughs> I'll go back to the. That was deliberate, wasn't it? No, that was, re that was it revenge. Just, it, ca it came under. Oh, yeah. the... Don't get my bird killed. How much health's it got left? Can you f it's, it's gonna come after us. The poor baby's been damaged. Kane, you suck. <laughs> Fly me back to where all my good stuff is. <laughs> I like this video. <laughs> Where's my bat? Where's my, yeah, my body? Where is your body? I don't know. There yeah, it is. Yeah. Okay, Can you suck it at? Oh, I'm fucking close. Oh, I'm getting attacked. Scorpion or something. Death worm! You fuck. Run! Pick me up! Pick me up! For f <laughs> <laughs> You're recording this? <laughs> oh, <laughs> heart attack! <laughs> <laughs> Kane, that was not funny! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Uh, let's stay away from that death worm. Hey, shit. <laughs> 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 so not only are you trying to kill me with wyverns, you're trying to kill me with death worms as well. I honestly panicked, man. Met us a male. Uh, uh, we don't want to like... There's a lightning, move! Move away from my lightning. Ken, if I die again, I'm not going to be up. Kenny? I can't see anything, your claws run away. Plus there's loads of lightnings around us, which is not good. Go to the other side a bit. Oh, he eats straight. <coughs> lightning below us, lightning in front of us. We don't want lightnings, Kane. Lightnings are not good. Kane, dangling me like a worm. Don't okay, like you made level 15 poison. That yeah, where is it? Pack it and fly away. Oh, she's after us. Go! Go, 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 go! She's spitting up. She's not a swallower, she's a spitter. Uh, 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 Kane, she's almost biting her. Will you fly faster? Right, slow down a bit. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go! Right, I go must ahead. not lose that aggro. I know. Go, go, go. Go, 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 go! <laughs> Go, go, go! Let's spit! Can fly in the straight line, that's all you have to do. Kane, this is... Kane, it's biting me! If it's biting me, Kane, it's too close. <laughs> <laughs> Kane! Will you flipping hurry up, boy? Just... Fly in a straight line. Don't fly over the... Ravine though, because it will drop down in it. Go, Ken! Are you going to. You're hitting it? Yeah. A bit slow, a bit slow. A bit faster, a bit faster, a bit Go, go, go! Don't worry, dude, I have this. Kane, it bit me. Oh, it's going down, it's going down. Go for it. Back away. <laughs> Got the milk. Okay. Now, do you want to pack it to death or go back? Just go back. He's gonna. He's gonna. Hold on. That is funny. No, because I, I while we are we are flying, I press K and I can see the how close it is, and I reduce the speed, so we keep in range. Okay. That was a fun video. Later on, when you get your first wyvern, collecting milk becomes a lot easier and safer. Simply find a low-level female and bite it, then kite it back to your wyvern trap. Wyverns have a lot more health than Argent, so you don't have to worry if it gets hit a few times. Make sure the Wyvern's following you, then fly close to the ground. You want to align the Wyvern up with the entrance of a trap. Then when it looks like it's on the right course, Land behind the trap so the wyvern comes straight for you. If it's coming in at an angle, position yourself so it flies into the entrance. Once it's in, go to the keypad and lock the door. Do it quickly before the wyvern flies back out. Then just narco it until it passes out, then collect the milk again. Another part of caring for your wyvern is imprinting. This gives a boost to your wyvern stats when you ride it. You don't have to imprint if you don't want to, but it's best to do it when you can. At the top you can see the wyvern wants care, then a timer. When that time reaches zero, the wyvern will ask you to imprint on it. 
This is normally between every three and four hours, for almost a week, so you're not going to get much sleep. If you manage to imprint on your wyvern 100%, it will give it a 30% damage and resistance bonus. It will ask you to do one of three different types of imprint actions. The easiest is for you to cuddle it, where you just press a button. When you successfully imprint, it normally adds 4%. The maximum you can reach is 100%, but it won't go past that. Another imprint action is when the wyvern asks for milk. You need to put the milk in the zero slot on your hotbar, then go up to the wyvern and press the E key. Always make sure you have some milk stored before the imprint timer runs out. You don't want to wait until it asks for it, then rush out because you haven't got any, especially at 4 o'clock in the morning when you're half asleep. It's better if there's a group of you raising wyverns all at the same time, then you can all take different shifts getting the milk. The other imprint action you need to do is take the wyvern for a walk. Just whistle it to follow you, and then take it around your dino pen. Sometimes it wants short walks, others it wants really, really long ones. Keep feeding it and imprint on it when you can. Then in about a week's time, you get your very own wyvern. They're worth getting, because they are great fun. Oh! Oh, listen! <laughs> Where's the worm gone? On the next video, I'll be showing you the best way to find an alpha worm. Thank you for watching, and if this was helpful, please like and subscribe. Don't forget to check out the other helpful videos at the end, and hopefully I'll see you again. Goodbye!